the opportunity to buy all the medication in the country. It's been 45 years since uh, a lot of the political aspects have it started. And well, yeah, that, their big emphasis right now is try to uh, do away with the embargo. out to be one of the major players for wheat imports in the world. When he said, I want to buy your wheat, Keith, I want to buy your wheat from Oklahoma. I said, I can't sell you just my wheat, but uh, maybe my neighbors and I can get together and uh, we can send it to you. Well, I think it's just a start. I mean, they import a million metric tons, so we're just getting started. I think we ought to be able to send them the wheat they want. After I returned from Cuba, I looked back on that and I had gone there with total misperceptions. I thought I would find a people who were very poor, very uneducated, unhealthy, living in extremely poor conditions. Uh, the only thing that's true is they are poor, but they are happy people and they're highly educated. They are very healthy, lowest infant mortality rate of any of the developing countries. There were many times that uh, the heads of state that we were able to visit with pointed out how urgent it was and how they needed what we have to offer. They pointed out right off the top, they need desperately wheat we export from Oklahoma. One of the main things we've got to do is if we're going to access that market, we've got to be able to have direct trade. When we cannot trade directly, when we cannot take direct payments, then all of the payments have to go through a third country. They cannot authorize payment until the ship arrives. Then it goes through a third country, then back to the United States. We go through currency changes. We do all of the paperwork. We go back from the United States through a third country back to Cuba. 
And by the time all of this is done, it takes anywhere from three to six days. And meanwhile, that ship is sitting in dock, charging a demurrage of fifteen to twenty thousand dollars per day. Uh, we still have a tendency to be the policemen of the world, I think. But as we look at Cuba, they're no longer a threat. It's not because they're a communist country that I can see, because we trade with communist countries in other parts of the world. Uh, they're not a national security threat. We have a Navy base, Guantanamo Bay, on the island of Cuba. So why we don't trade there is beyond me, but the next trip to Washington, D.C., I hope to ask that question. We have the logistics to be able to send them a lot of wheat, particularly from Oklahoma and some from Kansas and Texas, the Midwest area, because of logistics. It's easy to get it there. It's only 56 hours from the Port of Houston to Havana. They like our quality of wheat. They want hard red winter wheat for the bread that they make. So we're a given if we can get the government to allow us to send it to them. Oh, yeah, I think there's no doubt. You know, we came here October of 04, actually sold 25,000 metric tons, which is 1 million bushel. And that, end, that sale ended up being about 6 million bushel. And I think that's the other thing here. Uh, it looks like now we're going to sell 25,000 metric tons. And as they know Oklahomans and trust Oklahomans, it'll open the door for for many different commodities in our state. And the purpose for this sale was to establish the fact that we can direct ship wheat from Oklahoma origination to Cuba. The negotiations started through Plains Grains and the U.S. Wheat Associates made the, the original contact. Uh, originally we were going to ship a 10,000 metric ton ocean going barge to Cuba. Uh, when we started those discussions, they decided that they would rather have a 25,000 metric ton vessel uh, because they were used to not only taking those but uh, unloading those at their port. Uh, so then the negotiations started with uh, a ship. Uh, we made an original trip to Cuba in uh, late October. Uh, we brought uh, several people uh, connected with Oklahoma Agriculture from uh, Secretary of Agriculture Terry Peach to uh, Farm Bureau representatives, Farmers Union representatives, uh, the Oklahoma Wheat Commission, U.S. Wheat Associates, and uh, Plains Grains. At Harvest, we'll pull the samples and we'll send it off to be tested. Now, testing has to be done every year just because uh, quality can change from year to year. Miller may buy wheat from, from one location in 2004, uh, but in 2005 that quality can be completely different. So it's important that we test uh, on a year-to-year -year basis. They have uh, been very pleased with what they've seen so far. They have done some uh, tests in the lab, and uh, what they've seen to this point uh, they really like and say it's actually better than, than previous shipments that have come out of the Gulf which have been a combination of uh, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas wheat. Because it's a local market or a market that's close to us, and it's not only a market for our wheat, but it's a market for many Oklahoma products that we produce and raise in Oklahoma. Uh, they appreciate Oklahoma coming here. They appreciate the contacts that Oklahoma's having with their country. And they're excited about many purchases that they could possibly make, not only to Oklahoma, but to the entire United States. Uh, they've worked with us tremendously well. We. In fact, this past sale that we just had with Oklahoma on this wheat, we've uh, been able to work with them on shipment. We've been able to work with them on delivery, and they've been just excellent. And as you know, all sales to Cuba are cash sales.